More than 3 million Americans suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, according to the Mayo Clinic. And today is National PTSD Awareness Day. Here to talk more about that is psychiatrist Dr. John Kuffner. Thank you very much for being here. Let's define it first, and I'm going to use what you've talked to me about before. Post-traumatic stress disorder, when you have a life-threatening or witnessed a life-threatening event, fear of losing yours or a loved one's life, and then we have this stress reaction. It's not just the military. It's not just, and it's not just life-threatening. I mean, it's just a severe trauma. So that can be sexual assaults or things like that. So things where your safety or the safety of a loved one is like severely compromised. Even a car accident. Right, even a car accident. Car accident is probably the most common cause in our country of PTSD because it's what the most common life-threatening stressor that most people will experience. And it can be debilitating. It can be absolutely debilitating. People might not be able to function again. They might not be able to go to work. In the case of a car accident, they may not be able to travel in a car anymore. And if you've been around Knoxville, we're really not a commuter friendly city. So unless we have, you live somewhere with subways and you can avoid traffic, you might not be able to get out of your house. Some people are afraid for their safety to even leave their house. You have talked about some of the new ways we're treating it. What are those? Well, I've noticed the last couple of years, we do have more specialists in our area that are working on PTSD symptoms for trauma. There's a new, newer type of therapy called EMDR. I've talked about that before, but that's used uh, for many things, but it really is focused on, on PTSD issues uh, and their exposure therapy. So we have more uh, therapists in our community that are focused on helping treat PTSD. If people want more information about how to help loved ones who may be suffering from PTSD, where should they go? I, I would go to your primary care doctor. I mean, they, they see, that's that's the gatekeeper. They see all of our, any severe persistent mental illnesses that come into the clinic usually start at the primary care office and they have the referrals there to get them to, to where I work or, or anywhere else in our community. Well, we appreciate the background. Thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah, always good to see you.